I was a valet and I was washing vans six days a week and got paid nothing. Uh, I used to take the guitar in to work and I played I played my guitar at lunchtime. And they all used to take the piss out of me and call me Coldplay. So <laughs> Boy, Coldplay, no one cares. But, uh, <laughs> tough crowd. <laughs> yeah, tough crowd, yeah. Like, I've spent five grand before on a bill for my hotel just because I was buying everyone drinks. Oh, my God. Yeah, and that I, will I bite like, you on the ass. They were like, I said, oh, just say, just say James Morrison at the bar and they'll give you free drink. And they're like, all right, cool. <laughs> and then I got up in the morning, it was like five grand bill. <laughs> it's a fine line between being generous to make yourself feel good and being generous because you're being generous to help someone. You know, like I think in the beginning, I did want to feel like I was the hero. Mm. I wanted to feel like I'm the hero, I saved my family, I bought more the house, I took us out of poverty. And then actually, I was, after the years gone by, I didn't want that. I didn't want to be a hero, I just wanted to be quietly, like, quietly just doing my bit to help them. Good morning, evening, friends. Here's a friendly another. So good. So you sang your way into her heart yeah. <laughs> via Stevie Wonder and an acoustic guitar. Yeah. Just serenading the corridor, hoping she'd pop out. <laughs> So, how, so what I was, was always your, singing. <laughs> so what, she lived next door to you or you... Uh, she moved in as a lodger. To? With her boyfriend. <laughs> to where? Where you were living? Uh, to my mum's house, yeah. No! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she moved in with her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, he was massive. He, he was, was massive. This was just gets worse. Yeah, uh, and I was 17. No! I was 17 and he, he was like 32 or something. No. Um, and he was 6'2". <laughs> and how it's tall are massive. you? I'm 5'10". <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to try and give my family something that would have been unachievable um, when I was a kid. Yeah, I just wanted to give them what we all never had. And what was that? Like anything, well, you, you, you... <laughs> like money to do anything, to travel even was a mission. You know, mm -hmm. like getting enough petrol money so you could go see your family, or having enough food for the, for for dinner. Like we, a lot of the times we never even we never had breakfast or lunch. You know, I used to go to school without breakfast on a regular basis, um, and 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 so, you know, until I got this free school lunches, I was just hungry all the time. Even from a young age, my mum used to get me to sing in bars and stuff to pay for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Did she? She'd be like, my young lad sings, if he gets up, can we have free dinner? And they'd be like, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, and I'd just start singing. And then she'd be like, you know, free dinner. But <laughs> well, that's um, tenacious, yeah. right? I mean, she must have been, yeah. she must have. Survival. Yeah, survival. She must have felt like she had very many choices, James. Yeah. It, I do remember it was like embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. You know, it's embarrassing anyway when you're 14 to get up in front of people and say anything, but to get up and sing while people are eating their dinner, not knowing what's going on. They were looking at me like, who's this kid? <laughs> yeah, it was an awkward thing, but it was definitely character building. And I still always remember, you know, the fact that that's what it was like back then. Yeah. You know, you eat, I, was, I, was, I was playing for my supper. 